All right, I got a drill review today. This is the Bosch Stitch 6.5 amp, 3 eighths of an inch drill. And it is the model BTE 100K. I picked up this drill at Walmart out of all places for $32. And it regularly was $65. It came with this hard case, which is kind of nice. Nice for storing the drill and uh, accessories if, you're, if you need to take it to a site or something. Uh, Bosch Stitch is mostly known for making nailers from what I remember. I don't have a lot of experience with Bosch Stitch tools, but considering I came across this at Walmart, I'm kind of like, I was questioning like, well, how well made is it really? Pleasantly surprised so far. Um, for the price, it seems really good. So I'll go over what I like about this. It has an all metal chuck. Um, it has a nice rubberized grip belt clip obviously, um, locking trigger, forward reverse obviously, variable speed, um, a really nice cord, very malleable when it's cold out still. Um, it's plastic, except for this, except for the chuck as I mentioned, and it's uh, 2500 RPMs variable speed. Lots of power, it's 6.5 amps as I mentioned. Uh, it's good, I've used it to mix a little bit of mortar and stuff, pretty good. You know, if you're mixing any huge amounts, you probably wanna go something like a little bigger than 6.5 amps, and it only has a 3 eighths of an inch um, um, chuck anyway. You probably want something like a half inch or something like that. Anyways, it says it has a three year warranty, and Bosch Stitch is owned by, I believe it's Stanley, which then also bought uh, Black & Decker, which also owns Porter Cable and DeWalt. So they're all kind of together. Mind you, the Black & Decker in terms of quality is, you know, sometimes it's kind of the more consumer level, but the, you got your mileage may vary. You gotta be careful what you buy. Bosch Stitch though, on the other hand, I figured I gave it a chance and I'm pleasantly surprised. It works quite well. Lots of power, quality seems well. I can't attest to the long-term quality because I've only had this for a month. I've used this for a few projects now. Seems to be holding up. There, I read a few reviews that some people had issues with this chuck. Now, I haven't had any issues with it yet, but it seems okay. It grabs things nice and tight, and it's a small, very, very small, like it can grab onto a tiny, tiny drill bit, like all the way down to a 132 drill bit. So it's, it's a decent chuck in my opinion. I like it. So I don't think I'd ever use this for driving screws because an impact driver is far superior, but if I ever need to drive, um, drill some holes, um, a lot of holes, and my cordless drill died, which is highly unlikely because cordless tools are pretty good, I would switch to this. But what I like about this is it just gives me that little extra power when I need it. So uh, I think for $32, this is a great buy. Would I pay $65 for this at the original price? And by the way, that's all in Canadian dollars. So in American, that would be like, I don't know, 32 bucks would be like 22 bucks maybe, maybe not even, or maybe like 24. Anyways, depending on the conversion. Regardless, I think this is a good deal. Uh, oh, last thing I want to mention, I don't understand why, can't they put the handle of these corded drills? Most corded drills have the handle back here like this, so you have to hold it like that if you want to drill anything straight down. So you can, so it has this spot here for your hand and then you can hit the trigger. Um, why can't they put it in the center? So it's a little more balanced, just like a, like a, a cordless drill. Most cordless drills are balanced like that. I don't know if it's for the battery or whatever, but this, this is okay, but then you want to steady it with two hands or you can do one hand like that, but just put the handle in the center. Anyways, just one little minor complaint of overall, just kind of the, the, the cheaper corded drills. But anyways, not a bad deal. I don't know if I pay $65 for it. I would pay the sale price for this, but um, I probably, if I was actually really shopping for a drill, I probably would pay a little more and I would get the DeWalt one um, that has the handle that's in the center and just maybe a little bit more better quality. I'm not sure how long this will last. I can't attest to that yet because I've been only be using it for a month. But hey, for now, I think it's okay. Anyways, that's my review. If you're looking this up, you probably came across this at Walmart. So this is the BTE 100K model. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.